so we've heard the news from Josh Cronke, uh, courtesy of, was it, David Ornstein. Yeah, David Ornstein. David Ornstein announced that he done an interview with Josh Cronke, one of the directors of Arsenal. And I can't lie, it actually sounds very, very optimistic. Um, first and foremost, why is it taking them? <laughs> he said, if I recall, he said that during the Europa League final, as they noticed that uh, we wasn't going to win. We wasn't going to get into the championship, um, Champions League. We had to think of a drastic strategy. I'm saying, why did you have to think then? When we was getting beaten by Ch um, Chelsea in the final, why did you have to then say, oh shit, you know what? We need to prepare for something in the future. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. So it was that. And then also they were saying about it was the, was it the protest that the fans done? That, you know, we need to change, um, we can change, and etc, etc. Those are the two things that made you sort of decide that you're going to dig your hand in your pocket and invest in the club. Now, I'm not, I'm not fretting, because I'm happy. Because right now, we're doing well. Like, we've, obviously, we've, we've got Luis, we've got Pepe, Ceballos in the middle. Um, and you can tell, like, I don't know, it's just something has clicked. Something has clicked within the, the director's board or within the club. And they've noticed that they need to be more in touch with the fans and they need to be more, um, they need to build a, re a relationship. They need to rebuild the relationship because right, or not right now, but beforehand, it, it was bad. It was very bad. Let's just say it was a negative relationship. But now I think because Josh is a lot more, he's a lot more younger, he's a lot more aware of what's going on. And he's realizing in terms of a businessman, we need to do this. And he's probably looked at different models. He's probably looked at Liverpool. He's probably looked at Man City and he's realised how the managers galvanise or even the directors and that, you know, they make sure that the relationship with the, the fans, because that's the main thing. That's what brings in the money. That's what gives them the bread on the, I mean, the butter on the bread. The fans is the most important thing. And I think he's realised that. And, you know, the transfer window was such a shock. Really? The transfer window was such a shock <laughs> for a lot of Arsenal fans because the rumours were that we only had what 40, around 40 million to spend. Um, but they kind of blew that out of the park and, you know, I'm really happy with the signings that they made. But it was just interesting watching his interview and, you know, he was just saying, look, we want to win the Premier League and I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. That means that things are going to change. A lot of things are going to change. I'm going to back my team. I've always backed my team anyways. And I said, I said this from day one. I said, my team will rise like a phoenix. And now they are rising. And people are getting scared. People are getting worried. Because they can see. They are seeing like the, 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 small, the small signs, the small glimpses, you know. Obviously, with Aubameyang scoring, Lacazette as well. We've got like new midfield coming in. We've got David Luiz at the back as well, who's reinforcing. Plus Tierney as well. He hasn't come back from his injury got Bellerin as well coming back so and then the thing is as well they said that in the January transfer window they're willing to spend they're looking to spend in the market as well these are things that I I haven't heard for a long time as an Arsenal fan and I think that goes for everyone else so I'm really really looking forward to what, what the future holds but I will also be very patient because I know that Rome wasn't built in a day. And, you know, when I look at Klopp and how he's built his Liverpool team, that took at least, what, two two to three seasons, let's just say, um, for everything to click. So we need to be patient as, patient as fans, but also support our team. And I know uh, the fans, we do that. So I'm backing my team all the way. I don't care. I don't care what happens. As long as we get top four this season, that's fine. That's progress. Then we move on again. Um, but, yeah, I was happy with Josh Cronke and... It, it feels like things are changing. Things are on up, people. Things are on up. Um, what do I do again? Oh, yeah, it's that whole, yeah. If you like my video, please press the like button. Uh, you see that red button down there that says subscribe? Please click subscribe. Um, subscribe to my channel. would love it. And um, please leave a comment under if you've got any comments as well, yeah, if you've got any views of what I've been saying. And, yeah, hopefully I'll be bringing you more videos because I've got more time. All right, peace.